I think I'm gonna have to turn the captions on. Uh, Inter Central Park is dark. It's winter in December. Love that. Da 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 da. Iambic pentameter with the flow back and forth, off on, off on, with what he stresses with a syllable. Right. What have you done to me, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing to me? Oh my God! There is a unicorn. I'm watching a man. Dressed as a woman singing to a unicorn. And she's like jumping up and down like a Pikachu right now about the electric thunderbolt shock, man. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free penny. It just makes sense. What's going on, YouTube? It's Noxu, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today's a big day. It is a big day because it's Friday, and you know we are back with more ERB. Now, you guys only read the comments of good, the bad, the ugly, the troll, and this is one of the next highest requested ones from you all. I'm talking about Shaq Cousteau versus Steve Irwin, the battle of the conservationists. But before we go any further, I want to give a quick shout out to the Patreon. Listen, guys, exclusive reactions, exclusive content on there. It's a great community. We continue to grow it. It's a fantastic way to support the channel. If you like the preview, if you're curious to find out more, I will put the link to that below. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. Steve Irwin, Jack Cousteau, still up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Jack <laughs> I have to start stop this before we even start because we already are coming through with the visual humor. Listen, Steve Irwin, rest in peace to a man. I used to love watching him, but the man wrestled crocs. He would pick up snakes by the tail. He lived dangerously. I mean, there's footage of him picking up a black mamba like it's nothing. One of the most poisonous snakes out there. So I love how he sat there like playing with his pet snake and like getting in its face, going to give it a snaky kiss and not get bit by his venomous fangs. Let's appreciate this one more time. Oh, Invented scuba, Captain the Calypso, Palm Door winning documenter of the ocean, ready to battle a desperate sweaty showman. I gotta appreciate this flow one more time with the French accent laced on top of it. Okay. Jack Cousteau, here to spit flow. Invented scuba, Captain the Calypso. Just the way that he has that little punchy delivery, man. He's like playing rack whack a mole with the flows right there. Okay. Okay. Should we break down some bars? Talking about the flow, the flow that he's bringing with it, but also like the flow, the flow of the ocean. He used to sail around the ocean, film aquatic life, make documentaries, won lots of awards for it. There's my summary of Jacques Cousteau. I don't actually know all that much about him, but uh, what else can we talk about and pretend like I know things? Hang on. Jacques Cousteau, air to speed flow, invented scuba, captain the Calypso, bomb. So for those of you who didn't know, uh, Jacques Cousteau uh, invented scuba gear. Yeah, I've got a big brain. I just figured that out myself. Oh, uh, the Calypso, that was... Uh, one of his ships. Wasn't that like a World War II ship that was donated to him to use that he sailed and filmed all the marine life with? I'm pretty sure so. What does scuba stand for? Scuba. Soft, cuddly, underwear, boobs, assholes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the exact uh, definition of the scuba acronym. He invented it, so that's cool. Or we need documenter of the ocean, ready to battle a desperate, sweaty showman. You're fucking soft. Documenter of the ocean, Palm Door, uh, winning the Palm Door at Cannes Film Festival. That's right. He held the title as the the only documenter to win that for a long time until until our big 9/11 conspiracy came out. Fahrenheit 9/11. Michael Moore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What else was I gonna say? Oh, sweaty showman. Sweaty showman, because, yeah, I mean, Irwin had a very boisterous personality in front of the camera. It was very over the top, all right? But he made it pretty damn entertaining to watch. But to some people and the trolls out there who are on mom's iPad way too late at night and running up her minutes and data, it was cringe. They didn't like it. Cousteau falls into that category. Let's keep it rolling. Thor winning documenter of the ocean, ready to battle a desperate sweaty showman. You're fucking soft, you get on my nerves. You're the only manatee I don't want to conserve. My life aquatic was adventure and beauty. I'm so cool, Bill Murray played me in the movie. I have Oscars, you're in Dr. Doolittle too. So run back home to your daddy's zoo and just... 
<laughs> okay, let's break some of this down. Life Aquatic was based loosely off of uh, Cousteau's life. Bill Murray played it in there. She's like, isn't that cool? Bill Murray played me. I mean, that's a flex right there. You played yourself in Dr. Doolittle too. Dr. Doolittle too. Meh. Yeah, Dr. Doolittle was a lot better. Don't mess with my childhood and Eddie Murphy, all right? We're not going there. What else was he flexing on? Uh, Oscars that he won. That's true. Irwin never won any Oscars. And then the last line, run back to your daddy's zoo because, well, that's how Irwin got started. That's how he learned so much about animals and everything. It was his uh, parents' zoo, and then he took it to a whole nother level, didn't he? Anything else that I missed? Conserve. Oh, the manatee lines. Yeah, if you walk into a bar and meet a girl um, and you go, hey, baby, you look great tonight. You know, I want to save you like the manatees. She's probably going to think that you called her fat. He just called Irwin fat. All right, let's keep it rolling. I have Oscars. You're in Dr. Doolittle, too. So run back home to your daddy's zoo. And just to be clear, because I'm no veterinarian. Were you killed by a fish kid's pet at the aquarium? Howie smokes. What a place to go. No veterinarian. Were you killed by a fish kid's pet at the aquarium? Howie smokes. What a place. Well, that one hurt me. That was, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's true. You go to an aquarium and you can pet the stingrays. And he was murked by a stingray. It's a hell of a way to go if you think about it. All the things he could have died from, crocodiles, snakes, just dangerous beasts and a stingray. Yeah, that sucked. I don't like that bar. That's mean. This is a battle, though. There's no rules. Cause I'm no veterinarian. Were you killed by a fish kid's pet at the aquarium? Holy smokes, what a place to go! You need a submarine for a blow that wow. Oh, this is good! I love this flow and personality and Aussie accent that Lloyd is putting on. Holy smokes, what a place to go! You need a submarine for a blow that wow. Need a submarine for a blow that low? Get it? It's a low blow, but also playing off of Jacques Cousteau being in the ocean, submarine going down low. And there's also a dick joke in there. It wouldn't be ERB if there wasn't a dick joke. He's saying, you know, go on down low. Actually, we can make it a quadruple. Why not? Let's just give quadruple sandwiches out today. Low, down low, down under, Australian, loose connection. I just grabbed that from the ethosphere. You better run. You better take cover. Because crikey, I'm going from croc to jock. <laughs> crikey. He used to be a croc hunter, and then he's playing off a of croc with Jacques. Jacques Hunter, Croc Hunter, Crikey. Yeah, I like it. I like it. This is, it's the personality that gets it for me. You better run. You better take cover. Because Crikey, I'm going from Croc to Jacques Hunter. Ooh. Have a look at this salty fella. His face looks like it's made of pure leather. Look out. He's got the body of a naked mole rat. <laughs> he's cranky because he has to wear a Papa Smurf hat. I'm a wild man. <laughs> That's a great setup. I love how it's like he's out in the wild presenting one of the animals to people. And in this case, it's the naked mole rat, Papa Smurf hat wearing Jacques Cousteau. Fun fact for you guys. Uh, the Smurfs promotes communism. Think about that next time you're eating your bowl of Cheerios watching the Smurfs. Yeah, that happened. Also... Leathery face playing off of him being out in the sun and at sea. He's getting old. He looks like a naked mole rat. Okay. You call me fat, I'm going to call you old and wrinkly. How you like that? Yeah, he's got the body of a naked mole rat. He's cranky because he has to wear a Papa Smurf hat. I'm a wild man. You're a sub dude, sub dude. The only crocs you could handle are some slip on shoes. <laughs> Good wordplay. Sub dude, sub dude. You're very subdued with your demeanor and everything you do. But also sub dude, like submarine dude, always out at water. Nice play on sub dude. And then the croc word play I like as well. Actual crocodile versus the crocs that you wear. You can't see this because I'm on camera right now. I am wearing camo crocs. I don't give a shit if it doesn't match anything that I'm wearing. They are comfortable and they make my feet feel good. You're such a boring guy. You can make a whole show about the ocean dry. But with the shielders. More good wordplay from Irwin. I mean, for me right now, that last bar from Cousteau is just taking it because that was just ruthless as hell. But Irwin, love the personality. Just a total change of pace with the delivery. And then he's got some really good wordplay. Obviously, you're so boring, you can make the ocean dry. The ocean is literally covering so much of our planet. It is wet. 
but making something dry, making it boring. Love the play on that. You're such a boring guy. You could make a whole show about the ocean dry. But with the Sheilas, you sure had fun. Your mistress was as young as your firstborn son. You never should have. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's a good one. But with the Sheilas, you sure had fun. Your mistress was as young as your firstborn Ooh. son. You never should have stepped to the wildlife defender. Now embrace your French nature and quietly surrender. Talk about sons, but... So I was on eBay the other day. I saw a uh, advertisement for a World War II French battle rifle. It said mint condition, uh, never used but dropped once. No, that's, that's terrible. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come on. How many Frenchmen does it take to defend Paris? I don't know. It's never been done before. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I swear, if you're French and watching this, I'm sorry. I'm a rude. American. We have to have fun and laugh at ourselves sometimes. We all get those lines and why he's surrendering this battle. Continue. Step to the wildlife defend now. Embrace your French nature and quietly surrender. Talk about sons. Better watch what you say now. You almost turned yours into outback mistake. Would you rather <laughs> talk about your brother? Oh boy. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Oi, oi, oi. Enough. Ooh, that was a cool little switch up. Normally they get a couple bars and then they'll pass it back. In that case, it was one punchline versus the other punchline. I love that comeback. Outback Miss Steakhouse playing off of Outback Steakhouse. I'm so sorry, my fellow Americans. Outback Steakhouse is not actually from Australia. They've tricked us all. How's that make you feel for you? Red pill or blue pill? Also playing off of the steaks that they're known for. S-T-E-A-K versus a Miss Steak. S-T-A-K-E mistake like Irwin holding his newborn son while he's trying to feed a uh, crocodile yeah that wasn't smart but then nice rebuttal from Irwin Ozzy 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 oi 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 Ozzy oi Ozzy oi Ozzy 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 oi 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 yes I've played football I also love football that's how I got that one Playing off of that, though, in this case, he flips it to Nazi because uh, Cousteau's brother, once the Nazis invaded, he was a big supporter of the Nazis and white supremacy and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, he was sick healing Hitler, that's for sure. Nice burn. Would you rather talk about your brother? Oh, boy. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. Oi, oi, oi. Enough of your antics and madness. Contain yourself. Like my underwater breathing apparatus. You're a joke <laughs> of a bloke in a tacky khaki romper. Go grow up a no bro, crocodile humper. It's the time of... Obviously, contain yourself, self-contained breathing unit, like a scuba suit. Contain yourself. Nice double the wordplay. And then, uh, what was it? Grope a rope? Go grow up a bloke in a tacky khaki romper. Go grow up a no bro, crocodile... Grope a no bro. So basically he's saying like, you know, like grabbing a snake, but in this case, go grab a snake. It's not a ERB if we don't have PP jokes. You know that by now. A humper is a type of snail recently discovered and named after you. I'll eat them with butter. Hey, Skippy, the bush league kangaroo. Hold the D. I'm crocodile done with you. Where are you going, fell? Hold the D, because crocodile done D, but if you take out the D, it's just done. Get it playing off of being done with someone that can also relate to the butter lines because the French love their escargot. And there is a snail that I have just learned that is named after Steve Irwin, but I'm going to talk about it like I already knew that, so I seem smarter than I actually am. I feel like I'm missing another line. Hang on. Ah, Skippy the Bushley Kangaroo. No, I'm not missing it. I just didn't get that one. Somebody can comment below and let me know what that means. Bushley Kangaroo, hold the D. I'm crocodile done with you. Also, hold the D could also be like, hold my D. D-I-C-K, hold my dick. Where you going, fella? Hang on a minute. Like a Joey in a pouch, this ain't quite finished. Take a look how destructive your old films are. Silent World, more like Silent World Star. If you want to count, bitch, please. <laughs> world Star. Yeah, that is a scary documentary. Don't they chop up like a baby whale with the ship's rudder and uh, feed it to the sharks? And yeah. Ah. Uh. Man. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. That was just a different time. It's fine. It's a different. It's the 50s, people. It's okay. All right. You could destroy marine life for the sake of science because you'll want to study it and still call yourself a conservationist. That was a nice burn from Irwin. If your old films are silent world, more like silent world star. If you want to count fish, please take the reef tour. Don't go throwing C4 on the seafloor. <laughs> reef tour C4 on the seafloor. I like that rhyme scheme, that internal flow right there. And then I forgot about that one too in Silent World when they just blow up a reef to want to count the uh, amount of the reef population and the fish that come out of it. That's what you would do at that time.
I mean, fast forward to today when we're desperately trying to save our reefs around the world from drying out. Those of you who think that global warming doesn't exist, shame on you. If you want to count fish, please take the reef tour. Don't go throwing C4 on the seafloor. I'm the gold medal rhymer on the podium. Cleaning you up like a Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> I'm Mother Nature's group. Janitor bars, Jacques Cousteau. Relates to Jack Cousteau. Gold medal rhymer on the podium. Cleaning you up like a And then gold medal rhymer like an Olympian on the podium. Jack Cousteau. Ooh. I'm Mother Nature's greatest conservationist. When I roll off the mic, I'm danger, danger, dangerous. I go back down under with your crew. I just blew through you like a didgeridoo. Ho, whoa. Why do I feel like there's more dick jokes underneath if it blew through you like a didgeridoo, but a didgeridoo instrument that the Aborigines would play? I reacted to a Harry Mack freestyle where the dude was playing a didgeridoo. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, danger, danger. He would say danger a lot, one of his sort of catchphrases and crikey and all that. Man, rest in peace to her. I'm done with your crew. I just blew through you like a didgeridoo. Ho, whoa. Ho, star. Don't die, star. Oh. I do like this beat. What are they doing? Oh, we're cleaning up stuff. Nice. Is that Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Cousteau and Irwin out in the wild cleaning up. I like that. That's a nice little twist on it. I mean, hey, the battle makes sense. The battle of the two conservationists. Who won that battle? All right, for me, the best bar of the battle goes to Cousteau. And... It was vicious. It was vicious. I mean, it hurt me. It reached through the computer screen and it, it visibly shook me. But in terms of the wordplay and the personality, I don't know, man. I just enjoyed Irwin's performance more on this one. I mean, it was that was classic, man. I think they did him justice for this one. So I'm going to have to give it to Irwin. So if you guys liked today's video, if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Oh my goodness, I just realized I forgot to say that ERB, you are Knox Hill certified. All right, guys, that's about it. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you again soon. I'm out.